Okay, look guys, I can explain. There's been a bit of an incident with the wolves. It's a little bit chaotic, but I have got this all under control. We're going to be tranquilizing Soul and moving him in just a second. Nobody panic, nobody panic. We're, we're, we're getting this done. We're getting this done. We'll be moving him back over to his side of the wolf exhibit, and I will be explaining what the heck is up with this line of rocks in just a moment. Uh, basically, Basically, I got it into my head, why don't we have more than one wolf pack in this exhibit? Because it turns out this exhibit is huge! It is bigger than the panda exhibit! And I realized, you know, it'd be really cool if the wolves had different territories. And hey, there's this really interesting null, like, null fence line thing that I could put down. Maybe that means the animals will see it as an invisible bit fence and they'll consider it like some sort of uh, some sort of natural territory that the wolves can split. Turns out that it just happens to exist for those places where you're making a habitat that you build a natural looking thing like a deep river for an animal that can't swim uh, or a cliffside for hopefully an animal that cannot climb over all of these rocks and you can set it to being a whole habitat for your staff that way and for your guests so they know the wolves won't get over there. Uh, but Sol looked at it and he, he literally looked at this and he was like, you think there's a barricade there? And he jumped the river. So he's currently escaped. Protesters have arrived because they apparently are very furious about the wolf situation. And I am currently building what we are calling Series Folly, a fall of rocks that shall line the side of a, uh, that shall line the side of this spot and will hopefully go all the way through the river. I'm hoping they won't swim across here. So maybe I can just go up along like the creeks on both sides with like a little spot. They can, they can come down to the river to go ahead and drink, but I don't think they'll swim all the way across the big lake. And so the two wolf packs, we would have the wolf forest pack and the wolf mountain pack. But yeah, they're supposed to just kind of like chill with each other. So we're going to see if that's how this is going to work out or not. Oh, and by the way, I named the wolves. We have Luna over here after our wonderful wolves from Wolf Quest. And we have Sol down here who is currently standing in the glorious sunlight, escaping, making life a little interesting. But I just used some emergency transport uh, and he has been, he just flew away. My wolf got boxed up and flew away. <laughs> right. We'll take him out in just a second, but I kind of am working on something pretty important. Protesters have just arrived, probably because they are ridiculously upset over the whole wolf situation. Trust me, I am too. We're going to go ahead. This is really humblingly ugly for now. That's why it's series folly. A literal fall of rocks that hopefully the wolves will not climb over. Uh, but we're gonna line it up on both sides. There we go. And I'm sure we can fix this. This actually looks kind of cool now that we're starting to work with it. All right, we'll get Soul out and then we will look at the new wolves that we just, oh, that actually does look kind of cool. It's a rough draft. I'm beginning to realize that's kind of what Planet Co or Planet Zoo is all about, is making rough drafts with what you have to work with and then making it look pretty and not such chaos later. But all right, we have two. <gasps> T the pangolin is about to have more pangolins. We have so many pangolins, guys. And look at this. We have a male and female wolf. We have another wolf pack. <gasps> This is going to be the forest wolf pack, and we are going to have the mountain wolf pack with Sol and Luna. So I'm very happy about that. And for the forest wolf pack, we're going to go ahead and name these wolves after some of you guys, and then keep an eye on how they develop over time and how the two packs will be different from one another. So I'm really happy about that. And we're actually going to have our female so let's go ahead and name her and we need to completely set up their exhibits it's been a little chaotic behind the scenes here friends uh but this is going to be this is going to be mango so what a cute name actually to start with our wolves <laughs> so mango she came with that name perhaps uh actually i kind of want to name the pangolin baby mango because that sounds so freaking cute so forgive me mango Mango Una, I am going to actually name you after Pangolin because your name is just so perfect for that. And we're actually going to name our wolf 
Allie. So we have Allie, the wolf, and you guys definitely need to be leaving some cool suggestions. We'll get a wolf theme going. In fact, let's actually go with a theme. Let's see. I kind of want to go with like space theme on one side and forest theme on the other. So forgive me, Allie, we will name you after something as well. Something after you even. Ha! Huh, sorry about that. And I think let's actually go with Ember because Emberlin is a beautiful name. And we're gonna have her be Emberlin of the Forest Pack. And then let's have this be Ash of the Forest Pack. Ember and Ash, come on. And then Luna and Soul. It just, we've got a little bit of a theme going on there. And then Mango, I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, the Bangalins have been destroying the little box. I'm gonna name T's baby after you as soon as she has her baby. I can't believe T is already old enough to have babies. <laughs> she was just born like two years ago. We're gonna have to do some research on how quickly pangolins become sexually mature, for sure. All right, let's see. And the wolves have low welfare, so we need to take care of them. T, can you please have your baby really quickly? Luna also has low welfare. I really need to work on, on setting up the wolf area. But we're back in our peaceful pangolin pagodas. We should make little pagodas! Just like we have the shrine for the pandas, we should make some pagodas. <gasps> Tee! Look at your little baby! Oh, precious baby! Welcome to Mango! Mango, our little pangolin baby. Oh, welcome, welcome. A dangerous animal has escaped. How? Where? Why? Luna! You weren't supposed to be able to- oh, okay, that one wasn't tall enough. That's my bad. All right, we did emergency capture of Luna. There's a lot of chaos happening on the Wolf Mountain right now. And I'm gonna come on over and add... there we go. All right, Luna. Hopefully she's being moved. I hope. I really hope she's being relocated to Wolf Mountain. That's what it says is happening. And I need to make, okay, now we know we need to make the rocks like rockier. Okay, I really hope that we're moving Luna because otherwise this is absolutely, this is truly serious folly. What, one of the wolves managed to get past the barricade on their side. Okay, thank goodness, Luna's being moved. Mimi's about to have her panda, baby. You're kidding me. There's so much happening. This is truly serious folly. Truly. How will I possibly... How has a dangerous animal escaped? Soul, you were supposed to stay on your side of the river. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. He'll be brought back in, I'm sure. But we're gonna go ahead and... Serious Folly is an interesting rock fall. Mimi has had her baby. I'm coming, Mimi. I'm coming. I want to see your panda baby. That's actually like a huge important deal here. Oh, Serious Folly. How you have fallen. Here, we'll put some on the outside just to make it even more thematic. All right, the other wolves don't be seem to be figuring out how to get up over these just yet. So maybe I'm doing this half right. Protesters are here because nobody is going to get more furious about anything other than protecting the beloved wolves. Holy cow, Mimi's baby! We need to celebrate with a new panda baby. This is chaos. Building up a huge expansive zoo like this is absolute chaos. Mimi! Where's the baby? On oh, your grandmother! Dada, you're a dad! Oh, you guys might even have a second panda. I'm so excited about this. Mimi! 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 Let's see. There's a keeper. Mimi! All right, we'll find Mimi. Let's see. And animals. <gasps> Mimi! <gasps> Look at the little one! We have a little, little boy, little girl. We have a little boy, just like his dad. Look at him, you guys. Let's check out this little one. 
He's feeling pretty good about life. He is actually pretty sickly, unfortunately, but his fertility is super high, which is like, holy cow on pandas. So maybe we can pair him with a healthier female when he comes of age, which would be so, so wonderful. And he's decent on size. So there's a lot we could improve with the genetics of our animals as time goes on, but come on, it is a baby panda. And then, uh, let's see. Uh, we're gonna name him... Ali, I did say we were gonna name you after, like, name something after you. And I did already do Mango. So, Ali, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna name him Al Al. <laughs> I love it. I actually love that. Al Al. Little Al Al. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, before we do anything else, we need to go ahead and add in. Oh, there is the statue of Dee Dee. Let, and there's Dee Dee and Dada. And now we're going to have another statue. And this is going to be the statue of Al Al, the baby panda. Oh my gosh. Continuing our panda legacy with like more growth of, I just, our zoo is growing. Even with the chaos, even with everything going like, ah almost levels wrong our zoo is growing and we're doing this guys so let's get back to trying to make sure that our wolves are okay they're not gonna escape ash let's make you happy we need we need to get our wolves taken care of uh so let's swap over they need some terrain changes to, for sure so let's get these terrain changes started and we'll do it live with them to try to make them as comfortable as possible they want more rocks. They wouldn't mind some snow. Nice. Are they overheated? Is it the temperature? Temperature? Temperature is okay for them right now. Okay. Thank goodness. Phew. All right. Let's do this, guys. We've got to save our wolf packs. All right. We'll get some rock down here. Let's spread this out. Like, yes, of course, rocks along the river, actually, where I have kind of, like, made this whole area literally chaos <laughs> let's get more short grass instead of the long grass they're kind of impartial about the grass they really want more soil our wolves and they really want that long grass gone so if i can find patches of it who now and how oh so if they go anywhere near their barricade then it makes them freak out okay okay because here's the barrier, you see? So actually, if I go ahead and change where the barrier connects though, so that the barrier is like connecting through the middle of these rocks. Come on. And then, okay, apparently I can't make the barrier connect in the middle of the rocks. But if I can come down this way maybe? Okay, no. What about this way? Let's grab this barrier. And then what if I want to make a new one there we go and connect up somewhere around here somewhere here somewhere and anywhere oh, oh, oh i think i had it there Whew. okay delete that little thing and then we can actually like delete that and hopefully that'll work but if they're gonna like freak out i'll put some more of our more of serious folly. Don't mind me. This actually is hilarious because I would not have like planned this myself, but it's kind of turning out somewhat cool in a weird way. We will definitely fix how it looks. <laughs> Holy cow, we will fix how it looks. But it's turning into something that's pretty awesome just by sheer accident. That's what I love about it. All right, so let's go ahead and continue to prep their area. All right, come on. Ember, we, you should be in your exhibit now, so I'm not gonna panic about that. Ash, you need your area changed some more. Let's continue to take good care of these wolves. We've got this, guys, we've got this. They want less long grass. There's no reason for all of you to be so panicky. The wolves are gonna be fine. They really hate the long grass. Well, trust me, friends, I do too. Because trying to find all of it is eight levels of a pain in the rump. Oh, sweet! We found all of it! Thank goodness! <laughs> all right, we can add in a few more rocks. 
they really want a careful balance and they actually like some snow so let's put down a cooler <gasps> Emily is about to die of old little pangolin age. Look at her. She's running towards her little food. Oh, oh, Emily, Emily. <gasps> I want to remember Emily. She was one of our first ever pangolins. We need some way to remember our pangolins, okay? Um, oh gosh. Okay, like I talked about pagodas. Do we have like a little pagoda? I can pagoda. Do we do? We have a little flower pagoda. It's a bit bigger than I was hoping for. Can I make, can I make like a miniature flower pagoda lake out of some of the things we could construct in honor of Emily? Like, can I do that? I probably, look at all these decorative pieces that we have. I need a roof piece. I need the roof pieces. So let's see. Uh, actually, I think we have like some habitat pieces that I learned. There was like this cool roof piece. I think that was actually in construction. It was architecture and it was roofs. And I remember in the beta, there was a really cool roof like this, these terracotta roofs. Yes, like that. I want to make a little miniature pagoda on a lake dedicated to Emily. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe, yeah, not on the lake. Okay, maybe not on a lake. But I want to make miniature pagodas and dedicate them to some of our pangolin. And they'll be little flower pagodas. So that would be so perfect. We're going to make this happen. All right. This is the tiled. Uh, oh, I can't change the color of this one. So I don't think that this is actually the one that I am looking for. Is it? Because I know that there was one where I could like change the color it was. And I was having a grand old time with that. But I may not have researched that one yet. So Emily, you're going to have this normal color, it seems. And I'm going to lift it up. Oh, Emily, have we lost, have we lost her mate? Have we lost, have we lost pancake? Do we still have pancake? <gasps> if we don't have pancake, I am definitely in a bit of a pickle. Uh, all right, let's see. Signs, decorations, centerpieces, little fountains, which I have, I don't think I've unlocked fountains, the art shapes, which would be useful for making like something special. Oh, special effects? <gasps> Falling leaves? What? What? Dirt blowing? Oh my gosh, mist? Fountain jets? Falling blossoms? I want to have falling blossoms in Emily's pagoda <laughs> to remember Emily by. Yes, I didn't even know these were a thing. I love how much you can do. Like, I, I there, there's no limit to what you can think up and what to build and what to create. Floor lights, decorative lighting, hanging lights for little Emily's pagoda, the architecture as a whole. I need good just like like little climbing logs will do i do like these climbing logs they're just useful for being able to quickly make a bit of a pagoda so this is bigger than i wanted but i'm sure eventually i will find a way to make the pagoda pagoda a little bit more there we go and there we go mm. i feel like i want fancier than that like i want some sort of facilities construction i need like a column or a pillar yeah like these pillars so what are you what are these called column so column there we go yeah like these something a little bit more like that except i whoa holy cow <laughs> except i want to be able to change the color can i change the color i can yes okay Emily, we'll have a little pagoda dedicated to you just yet. You hang in here, my my dear girl. There we go. So we'll have a little pagoda. This is a little bit bigger than I was going for. And I really wish I could change the color of the top, but that's okay. All right, don't worry, guys. We'll get back to the wolves in just a second. But come on, Emily was a great pagoda, or a great pagoda, a great pangolin. And I want to remember her. So we'll grab that and we'll duplicate it. I think this one will be okay just to do like a couple instead of, I actually like, oh, dang it. Now that we have it, I actually want to use the small pieces. In fact, this is kind of cute. This is kind of cute to use like two little, I like this idea. Watch, watch, watch. 
Yeah, I like this idea a lot. Okay, and then we'll drop this up a little and then back a little. Oh, that's cute. That's what I wanted. All right, Emily, we're going to create your pagoda. There we go. That's adorable. And then we're going to come down here and terrain. We're going to get some soil. Just a nice little light patch of soil. Pangolins are so afraid. So afraid of the big bad, uh, the big bad grass after all. And then let's put down some lovely flowers to be able to remember her by. Maybe some fountain bamboo right over here. And we'll go ahead and drop that down. Nice. And then another fountain bamboo over here. Go ahead and drop that down. Very nice. Maybe scooch it over a little bit. I love how you could just edit everything. Anything that you're... Why are they all running? Maybe because they're horrified that poor Emily passed on. Um, what else can I put in there? Let's. She always ran through these twin flowers. So we're going to put down some twin flowers. There we go. And I feel like we need some sort of cute little, like, maybe lantern. And that's what will make these little pagodas so special uh, in, in memorial of our itty bitty little animals. Uh, so if I was gonna do like a lantern construction and then take out the column. Like these, oh, these are so cute. Like a little basket, oh, a little water shrine. That would be adorable. See, look how cute these old little bucket. <laughs> okay, Emily loved bugs. So we're gonna put like a cute little bucket down here for her. Oh, we can even put a bell. Okay, pangolins are really shy, so I don't think that they would want a bell, but I love, love, love how much there is to decorate with. I can just imagine like little baskets. Oh, Emily. Oh, a little cornerstone. Let's see, the lantern is a little bit too big. The bell, incense jar, cute little basket that we could fill with things. Um, what about a little lantern that I could put in? <gasps> Perfect. Just one little lantern for Emily's pagoda and we can decorate more later. That's so perfect. And then I've, I'm learning what I can do to like, create a blueprint is you select things like that, which I didn't really know about. And then you go ahead and you save as blueprint, merge scenery into group. And now I have a group and I can come over and I can name it Emily's Pagoda. Emily's Pangolin Pagoda. Yes! All right, it needs tweaked here and there. But now we have some way to memorialize our pen pangolins as well, which makes me so happy. And we can add to it as our pangolin family expands. On that note, have we also lost ourselves? Pancake is still there! Huzzah! All right. And oh my gosh, look at all the babies we have now. <laughs> <laughs> we also have little Howen, so let's go ahead and rename little Howen to, oh my gosh, to, okay, okay, where are you, Howen? Can I find you? Howen? <gasps> He's so small! So we have Bagel, we have Waffles, we have Emily, we have Mango, and then someone named Undertale Sands, hello friend, has just showed up. So that was the next name in the random generator. I'm gonna go ahead and let's see, Sans. We're gonna name you Saucer. There we go. So we have a little Saucer to go along with the tea theme because I think that's freaking adorable. And it's pretty close to Sans. It's inspired by Sans. So there we are, guys. Now we can memorialize another one of the animals that we have lost. Emily's. Hey, hey, hey. No, no. This is Emily's Pangolin Pagoda. There. And hopefully that will. Yeah, now it's not throwing errors. Sweet, all right. Well, next time we will go back to our wolves.
It will happen. We will make an amazing wolf exhibit. Series Folly will will not continue. We, we, we will totally transform this land and we will make these wolves happy. Because right now, I'm going to be honest, I feel pretty darn guilty about the situation that they're in, but we will fix this. We will. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like in memory of Emily, the pagode, the pangolin and her adorable new pagodas and we will have to think about how we can make this wolf exhibit even better for our new packs next time so i'll see you guys then Bye bye